Chris to throw. And that is incomplete, too low. It hit the ground. Irwin trying to scoop. Aggressive this from the Ducks defense. We'll see if they bring extra. Here come five. Chris steps up, looking for Arcega Whiteside, who has it knocked away, broken up by Tyree. Said he really feels like this defense has started to play better in recent weeks. Part of the reason has been guys like Tyree Robinson, some of the vocal leaders in this lineup. In the slot to the top with three wide. Chris looking. Arcega Whiteside with the reception and the first down. The five yard line. Here's a second down. Chris keeps inside pitch to the tight end. Schultz. And it's Schooler that has to come out to make the tackle. No. This was pretty because watch Keller Christ work towards the field side, fake the pitch outside, knowing the defense will go towards Bryce Love. And then Dalton Schultz on the inside, really known as, in my opinion, the best blocking tight end in line in the Pac-12 conference. But their speakers up to 110 this week to prepare. Here's Chris to throw, good pocket, lofts it. Arcega Whiteside has got it. Arcega Whiteside, his fifth touchdown. Of Arcega Whiteside now, Anthony. 14 catches, five touchdowns this year. That's all he does. Catch touchdowns, pretty ball from Keller Chris. These are types of plays that he's missed. He hasn't been consistently accurate with the deep ball. You see Brendan Schooler line up as well. So now can the defense step up? Chris finds McCaffrey, who finds plenty of space. Gets another first down. A flag comes in here late. Caspers was blocking for Chris. With time, floats to McCaffrey, who spins away and picks up four minutes. And humanity working with McCaffrey. Love back into the game, and Chris gets blindsided. Backfield. He's their best playmaker as far as people with the ability to force his will on the opponent. 5-15. After the sack by Die, it's Chris with time. Rector's first catch of the game. Takes it inside the 25. Ugo Amadi. Now, third and 11 for the young quarterback. He'll keep it here. Able to elude one defender, but Die there again. How about the young man? who has only played four games this year and we were a little dubious when they said he's going to play got injured in the Washington State game with a leg injury you see that big Chris with pressure coming and he gets hit as he delivers too low and Manu while being one of the bigger defensive linemen Oregon has he's very mobile does a great job penetrating especially interior Chris looking that way, and he's got Arcega Whiteside, who with contact is able to make the catch. Tyree Robinson down on the field as we take a look at the replay. He's number two. Robinson's been right in position on virtually every grab. Looks like he'll be going back in. Guy? All right, thank you, Lewis. So a couple ankles. The issue right now is Chris gets rid of the ball or tries to. Mott is Dalton Schultz. Rector at the bottom. Chris with time, slips it to Arcego Whiteside. Very close to a first down, he's got that. And he's down to the 25 yard line. Track and field athlete, a basketball player, he was all state there. Chris with time, he'll throw it over the middle. This time it's the tight end, Dalton Schultz. Very believe knows where to go with the football. He's just not trusting his eyes yet. It's making, it's making things just a little harder than they need to be in the progression. And Bryce Love is at the top of the screen as a decoy. McCaffrey is third. No, he got broken up. Arian Springs just didn't get it back. Need to get down to the four-yard line for the first, so McCaffrey in space away from Springs. Breaks another. Christian McCaffrey near the third and three play run. We've had three straight timeouts. Chris looking to Rector. Too easy. Touchdown, Stanford. With McCaffrey off the field on third and short, the Cardinal go to the air. Offense should move the launch point more frequently for their quarterback, Herbert. Here, very nice movement of the launch point, just a sprint action. For this game now at 103 with three yards to go for the first. Chris looking, Rector who just caught the touchdown, a first down reception. And now a little tempo for Stanford. Chris just dumps it over the middle and there's Schultz again finding a spot. For nine, maybe ten yards.
go on the play clock. Four-man rush, Chris to Irwin. He can't bring it in. It would not have been first down. And Stanford did not penetrate that distance on the kick protection. And so another turnover, the third of the game, and it leads right back to McCaffrey spinning inside the 25-yard line. Chris, it's McCaffrey that picks up the pressure. And again, it's Schultz, who just, he's finding space. In Love to the left, McCaffrey to the right. And Chris is going to keep it. And then he's going to loft it into trouble. No, it gets to Rector. Touchdown over the finger. Stanford has converted all three of its previous turnovers into points. That was the fourth turn. Stanford is amongst the more difficult to play within their scheme because they asked them to do a lot. Chris will keep, but Swain is going to bring him down behind the line of script. Into the game now. In the middle to the right, Taiwan Thomas, number 13, the receiver. Chris is going to pull this down, a flag down, and that pass gets deflected. Holding offense number 20, 10-yard penalty, replay first down. Chris, here's McCaffrey. Again, he gets away, and it's just more of what you said. Get him the ball. <laughs> Third, second and eight. Fumbled snap, Chris, and now it'll be third down as Jelks, Jalen Jelks, the sophomore, be third about 14. Very low snap. Kelly Chris does the right thing, recover the football, get on it, don't make a bad play worse. The edge rush, let's see him get after the quarterback. He's coming at the top as Chris steps up, contact made, Arcego Whiteside. He's been a big play maker today, his fifth catch of the game, he's well over 100 yards, but... Holding offense number 75, 10-yard penalty, replay third. That Oregon feared most today. They'd be able to move the ball at will on the ground. That's too high for Rector, who does have a couple. Peak. Well over 200. And he's throwing here. The first possession of the fourth quarter for 